Hello friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss assignment 8 solutions. This is the last assignment for this course. Um, here goes the solutions. The first question, which of the following statements are true in the context of Apache Spark graphics operators? They have given three statements. The statement 1 uh, says structural operators operate on the structure of an input graph and produces a new graph. It's true. Property oper uh, operators modify the vertex or edge properties using a user defined map function and produces a new graph. Yes, it is also true. Similarly, S3 join operators add data to graphs and produce new graphs. All the three statements given are true. So, the appropriate answer for this uh, for the first question is all of them mentioned above. That's the second question. Graphics provides an API for expression graph computation that can model the Pragal abstraction. So the appropriate answer for this is option 2. Third one is match the following. Uh, they have given three uh, terms. Data flow systems, graph systems, shared memory systems. On the right hand side they have given vertex program, parameter service, gunia pick. Data flow systems map with the, uh, gets mapped with the Gunia peak. Graph systems always corresponds to vertex programs. Shared memory systems corresponds to parameter servers. So, appropriate answer is the second option. Coming to the fourth question, they have given a problem here. They have given a graph which contains four nodes. They are asking to find the page rank of node B, that is vertex B, after second iteration. Don't consider the damping factor. So, uh, let's solve this problem. I am explaining uh, this problem with the procedure. So, uh, they have given the graph. In the graph, there are four nodes and they are asking to find out the page rank of node B, that is vertex B, after second iteration. They, they have told that to eliminate the damping factor also. So, we have to find out the page rank of vertex B after second iteration. Okay. So, we will uh, solve this problem. So, we have to find out the initial page ranks of all these four nodes. How to find out the initial page ranks of these four nodes? Uh, the uh, formula for that is the initial page ranks of given vertices is equals to 1 divided by 1 divided by number of nodes. How many nodes are there? There are 4 nodes. So, 1 divided by 4 that is equals to 0.25. So, the each node page rank initially will be 0 0.25. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25 and 0.25. How we are going to calculate the initial page ranks? 1 divided by number of nodes in the graph. As there are 4 nodes in the graph, I have taken 4. 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.25. If there are 5 nodes, then we will be taking 1 divided by 5. This 1 represents the probability. Usually, the probability of the um, uh, vertices in a given graph will be in between 0 to 1. So, I am taking 1 as a maximum. So, 1 divided by 4. And we will start with the first iteration. This is the initial values we have to find out first. And we will start with the first iteration. So, in first iteration, node A or vertex A, I have to find out the vertex A page rank. So, for that what I am going to do is, I am going to check how many outgoing links are there from A. How many what, uh, outgoing links are there from A? It is 2. One is to B, another one is to C. A to B is there, A to C is there. As there are two outgoing links, I uh, will be taking the initial value of page rank of A. What is the initial page rank of A? It is 0 0.25. So, I will be dividing with 2. Why I am dividing with 2? Because there are two outgoing links. How, if, if, uh, how, if, if, I mean, uh, it, this value always depends on the number of outgoing links. As there are two outgoing links, I am dividing the initial value of A with 2. So, I will be getting 0 0.125. So, what does that mean means? This A is sharing this page rank value uh, equally to the vertex B as well as to vertex C. Now, the A will be given, give, giving 0.125 to B, 0.125 to C and this value will get nullified. 0.125 will be given to B and 0.125 will be given to C. 
Similarly, node B also do the same thing. What is the initial value of node B? 0.25. What is the initial value? 0.25 divided by how many outgoing links are there? Only one that is to D. So, I am dividing with 1. So, 0.25. This entire 0.25 value will be given to D. 0.25 will be given to D and this becomes 0. This value will become 0. Similarly, I will be finding out for node C also. If you observe, there are three outgoing links from C. 1 to A, 1 to B and 1 to D. The initial value of page, uh, page rank of C is 0.25 divided by 3. How much I am getting? 0 0.083. So, C will be giving 0 0.083 to A, to B, to C and this value will be nullified. This becomes 0 and A will get 0 0.083 to A, 0 0.083 to B, 0 0.083 to C and this value will be nullified. This becomes 0 and A will get 0 0.083, B will get 0.083. And D also will get 0 0.083. Okay. Now, in the same manner, we will be calculating for D also. What is the initial value of D? Previous iteration value, that is pre initial value is 0.25. How many outgoing links are there from D? Only one, that is to C. So, divided by 1, it becomes 0.25. So, D will be giving the entire 0.25 value to C. Now, C will get 0.25. And this value will become nullified. This becomes 0. So, after first iteration, these are the values. Uh, page rank of A is 0 0.03. Page rank of B is 0 0.208. Page rank of D is, we have to sum these values, 0 .0, 0 0.333. Page, ra page rank of C is 0.375. After first iteration, page rank, page rank of A is 0 0.083, page rank of B is 0 0.208, page rank of C is 0 0.375 and D is 0 0.333. Now, in the similar manner, we will be calculating in second iteration also. Now, we will be calculating the page ranks in second iteration as well in the same procedure. So, from node A, how many outgoing links are there? Two outgoing links are there. That is to B and to C. What is the previous iteration value? Previous iteration value is 0 0.083. As there are two outgoing links, I am dividing with 2. How much I am getting? 0 0.024821225. 0 0.0415. Half of this value will be shared to B. Half of this value will be shared to C. Now C is getting 0 0.0415. And B is also getting 0 0.0415. And this value will be nullified. This, this value will become 0. Similarly, node B also. As there is only one link from uh, B, outgoing link, the previous iteration value is 0 0.208. 0 0.208. 0.208 divided by 1 that is equals to 0.208. The entire previous iteration value will be given to D and this becomes 0. This will be 0. And 0 0.208 will be given to D. Similarly, from node C also. From node C, there are three outgoing links towards A, towards B, towards D. So the previous iteration value is 0.0. 375 divided by 3 will getting 3 ones, 3 2 6 3 5 15. 0.125 will be shared to A. 0.125 will be shared to, to B. And 0.125 will be shared to D also. And this value will become 0. This will be 0. Similarly, note, B, note D also. As there is only one outgoing link to, from D to C, the previous iteration value is 0.333 divided by 1 that is equals to 0.333. The 0.33 will be given to C and this becomes 0. So, these are the values of the second iteration. Page rank A will have 0.125. Page rank of B will be 0.1665. Page rank of D is 0.333. Page rank of C is 0.3745. So, page rank of A is 0.125. Page rank of D is 
0.65. In the question, if you observe, they have asked only the page rank score of vertex B. So, what is the page rank of vertex B? 0.1665. The page rank of the page rank of vertex B after second iteration is 0.1665 that is approximately equals to 1 by 6. So the option 1 is correct here. So the appropriate answer for the fourth question is 1 by 6. Coming to the fifth question, which of the following statements are true in context of parameter servers? They have given three statements. Let's see what are those three statements. A machine learning framework distributes a model over multiple machines. It offers two operations, pull, pull and push. Yes, three statements are true. So the appropriate answer for this is the last one, all of them mentioned above. Coming to the sixth question, again they have given two statements, uh, which is uh, corresponding to stale synchronous processes. We have to identify the correct one. Uh, both the uh, stale synchronous processes uh, interpolate between BSP and asynchronous, yes it is true. And SSP allows usually workers to run at own pace. This is also true. Both statements are true. So the appropriate answer is option 3. Coming to the seventh question, which of the following are provided by Spark API for graph pa parallel computations? The three uh, will be provided by the Spark API. If you observe, join vertices, subgraph, aggregate processes. All these three are provided by the Spark API. So the appropriate answer is all of the mentioned. Coming to the last question, that is the eighth question, which of the following statements are true? They are given the statements related to Apache Spark and RDD. If you read these two statements, both statements are valid statements. So the appropriate answer for this question is both S1 and S2 are true. So these are the answers uh, friends, you can submit uh, the answers and as I said that this is the last assignment and uh, there are no more assignments and we will directly writing the exam on December 28th of 2020 and uh, a few more two things I need to specify here one is if you want to get a certificate with some uh, silver or gold batches then read the lecture material thoroughly which was provided by the NPTEL and also go through the assignments once again assignment questions also there uh, some like five to six assignment questions will be repeated in the exam and as well the lecture material also go through the lecture material once maximum questions will be from lecture materials only that's all for today. We'll meet with the next video, probably in the uh, next semester. Thank you. Have a nice day.